And as the FCT prepares for its 2022 area council election, young male and female aspirants in the Federal Capital Territory have identified finance and insecurity as major obstacles. This is a fallout from the outcome of a town hall meeting organized by IAGA, a non-political and non-partisan organization whose aim is to get youths interested in the political decisions of the country at all levels. It is a one-day sensitization and awareness program organized by IAGA to bring youths and their party leaders together. People who have shown um, that they are not just getting into office um, for their own personal desires, but as a call to service, um, especially. So we're happy with what we have seen, but we want to see more. We also want to see more young people come out to register and vote. Um, so when we have that critical mass of young voters, um, that, those are the young voters who would also vote in um, young candidates into office. Yes, I'm aware in terms of security, at uh, the very day our candidate emerged after the primary election, uh, they were attached with uh, DSS. I think uh, the chairman has two DSS and the councillors has one. Then in terms of funding, you know, as a young party, I cannot uh, tell you that we have all the funds to run this election, but we'll be doing a lot to mobilize party materials, posters, jingles for them. And I'm aware we have a content that can swing us to win the FCT election, which we've been promoting in every ward of FCT. Being a woman, I would feel I feel this avenue encourages more women to participate. Seeing the fact that a young person is coming out, it will give them this how about the courage and the determination, resilience to actually put themselves forward, irrespective of the challenges. The candidate of PDP, in fact, I want to assure you that is the youngest among all the chairmanship candidates in FCT in all the political parties, and for that, that alone has boosted the morale. You know, it has given the youth that encouragement that, yes, this time around, we'll stand by it, we'll stand by this guy, because he's somebody, he's just picked from us. He's somebody that is picked from us, that has been our crack. And now the PDP has said, okay, take it, and we have given it to you. Money, with money, without money, they are ready to go for this election. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.